Eric Carle is a famous author and illustrator of more than 70 books. Eric Carle's pictures are collages, meaning he uses a variety of materials and textures. His most famous books are The Very Hungry Caterpillar and Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? For the pictures in these books, he layered tissue paper, paint, and glue to make the animals. In 2002, he opened the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art to share fun art with young visitors. The Purple Cat Craft is inspired by Eric Carle's cat and Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? This is what the craft will look like. Start off with two pieces of construction paper. I'm using purple and blue because those are the colors that Eric Carle used. Then grab a piece of masking tape to tape the two sheets of paper together on the top and on the bottom. This keeps the paper from moving when we draw the cat. Start by drawing the cat's head. Keep in mind, we want the cat to fill the page, so draw big. Then draw a curved line from under the cat's ear and add a tail. Draw a curved arm under the cat's chin. Then after this, you will draw another arm. Next, draw the torso and then the thigh, and then we'll add the back feet. I added a tongue to the cat's face, and then I sketched the eyes. I decided to add details around the nose and mouth of the cat, but this is completely optional. This is what the drawing looks like. Get another piece of masking tape to put between the sheets of paper. Next, carefully cut the cat out of the paper. Make sure that you are cutting both sheets of paper. Carefully follow the outline of the cat to cut. Here's the cat cut out. Keeping the two sheets of paper together, cut out the sections of the cat and then lay them aside. First, I cut the head and then I cut along the shoulder section. Snip the tail off and then cut out the thigh section. Make sure that you have all of your pieces. Lay out your pieces onto a sheet of cardstock or watercolor paper. I alternated each color from purple to blue. The next step is to glue it all down. I made sure to line up all of my pieces closely together so that there were no gaps.
With the face piece that I didn't use, I cut off the ears and then glued them to the ears of the cat that is on my sheet of paper. I also cut out the tongue so that it would be a different color than the cat's face. I cut out a half circle for the mouth detail and glued it onto the cat. This is completely optional. I also drew a nose onto a scrap sheet of paper and added that as well. With purple and blue paint on my palette, paint patterns onto the cap. I use purple paint on the blue paper and then blue paint on the purple paper. Then I painted a blue stripe onto the cat's face and finished adding all the patterns to the cap. Put a little bit of green paint and white paint onto your palette. This is what I use to paint the eyes. With black paint, draw some whiskers, add fun details, and add the pupils to your cat's eyes. Thank you for watching and supporting my Gold Award project.